everyone. My name is Miss Gloria Samuel and I am a bag maker. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, all right, all right. Is the ando connector, okay? Measurement for this is in length is 2 inches in height is 4 inches. Now what you do is you are going to first of all fold it in half then you press with your iron to get a crease you are going to get a crease or a mark at the middle of it then you fold your edges towards the middle like this and press again for the other edge towards the middle and press once you've done that the next thing you are going to do is to sew a straight stitch down the side and come to the other side to do the same thing so how we got the shoulder strap as I said earlier it measures 14 in length 40 inches in length and 4 in height. I'm going to fold this into two to get a crease, okay, to get a line at the middle. Then you iron with your pressing iron, you're going to get a line in the middle of the fabric. Then you're going to fold your edges towards the middle like this. Along the line here, you fold and press then you fold the other side and press then you fold again the second time so when you fold the second time you are going to get something like this this is one inch in length also this i'm going to sew this to this i'm sewing the fabric to the stabilizer this has already been sewn to the stabilizer. The fabric here has been sewn to the stabilizer. The measurement of the stabilizer is the same thing with the fabric. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold this towards the middle and sew along this edge. to reduce the stabilizer by half an inch so that our machine will be able to pass through it when it's less heavy or bumpy. Now we're going to attach the asset panel to the main panel. And to do this, you're going to lay them side by side with the right side facing each other. And we're going to use our clip, water clips, to clip them in place.
let's sew a straight stitch down a line Stitch once you get to the end of your sewing, you trim it off the thread that are sticking out. Yeah, this is what we get after sewing. Now we are going to top stitch, we're going to top stitch along this edge. That's sewing. When you get to the edge of the panel, we back stitch again. Okay, we are done with the sewing. We're going to trim off the thread again. This is what I get after top stitching. That's it. Yeah, this is great on this way. This is it. All right. Now the next thing we are going to do is to fix the handles to the main panel. This is the handle we'll be using. It's going to measure four inches from the side side edge here. It's going to measure four inches from the side edge. This is the placement of our handle. Then you measure another four inches from the side head. Okay. From here, from here to here is four inches. From here to here. As you can see, from year to year, it's four inches. And we are going to place our handles by the size of the mat we just made, like this. Place it by the side of the mark. This is the mark here. So you place it by its side like this and clip to secure them in place. So we are going to base across the top of the connector. And the next thing we are going to do is to sew our shoulder strap. This. We are going to sew it along this edge and along this edge. Along the two edges. Check 
checking if the back stitches are okay. shoulder strap hmm. let's keep it aside the next thing is how, how I attached my feet the measurements for the feet attachment, her it is one and a quarter. Okay, it's one and a quarter. Let's say it's two. Okay, like two. Let's say it's two. Can fit two. Let's say it's two. Then you attach one in the middle. I already post holes in the marked areas. So I'm going to attach my feet. And bottom for this fish to be well secured I'm going to use my double sided tape I'm going to cut some pieces out 